Hello and welcome to the G Show. We are back once again. I am Bryce, your host, and joining me this time it's Tom Stokes, the incredible FIFA player. How are you, my friend? I'm really good. Good to be here. Thank you. Awesome. Well, let's kind of give yourself. I'm going to let you introduce yourself because I always find it's best to let people introduce themselves so I don't lie. So, okay. you want to quick, just quickly tell the people who you are. Hi, um, I'm Tom Stokes. I'm 20 and I play for Enigma uh, as a FIFA player. I and have been doing so for over about two years now. Well, there you go. So two years playing competitive FIFA. How did you kind of start out getting into that? Well, I've always been quite good. I, I picked up the game FIFA 08, maybe, and I was always quite good at it, but all I ever played was seasons and like, ranks play. And then a friend told me about a site where you could play competitive matches, and I got really into it, and then that it all followed on from there, really. Well, do you play anything else competitive? Or are you just, a, or are you one, uh, get one game man? I'm quite a boring like that. I'm, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a, you heard it here first. He's boring. <laughs> right, we're in this conversation yeah. now. Got gone. I'm a two game man. Really. Two game man. Two game man. Call of Duty and FIFA. I oh, uh, play a little Call of Duty. Yeah, I like Call of Duty. Any good? I'm, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> as, as good as I can be. Yeah. Do you play that competitively or um, just dabble? I've tried a few games. Just dabble. Yeah, nothing, nothing too serious. Oh, so just. FIFA is your mainstay competitive, yeah. and then you get a yeah. little bit of your Call of Duty fix as well. Yeah, sure, yeah. Awesome. Well, you've actually been playing in the Gfinity Cups. How have you yeah. been finding that? Yeah, I, I play a lot of them every week, and they're really fun, to be honest. They're a lot of competitive players. They're hard to win, but at the same time, it's good practice. It's good to try and get some money, and it's just, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's good to play every night. Awesome. Well, I'm kind of glad you're having a good experience with it, otherwise that would have been an awkward show. Yeah. Um, let's talk about FIFA as an eSport, then, because... For me and my kind of perspective of it, mm -hmm. FIFA's kind of always been underrepresented as an esport, even though there is a yeah. massive community for it. Yeah. H how do you kind of feel about that? I mean, uh, yeah, I think the problem is that it's everyone plays it. Everyone, yeah. everyone likes to play FIFA against their friends. But watching it, and especially watching pros, it can be boring because it's quite defensive. It's not very high scoring a lot of the time. But it, it's, it's still it can be very it can be very very um, entertaining. But because of the, the how the game's made, it somehow it sometimes can be nil nils, one nil, and no, no one wants to see that, and that's why it doesn't get that many viewers. Do you think it also doesn't help the fact that currently it doesn't have a spectator mobile in? Yeah, we've been asking for it for a few years, and they just seem to gloss over it every year, even though they say it might be in it, but it never is, which is quite frustrating, really. Because I mean, for me, that that I'll be honest with you, I've, I've done spectator modes in quite a few games. That seems like the easiest one to make because it's the same action both players are seeing on screen. Yeah. So you surely, if you just had a third person in there, they'd just be watching. There's yeah. no overlays needed, nothing. No, exactly. It'd be great for people to commentate games, as obviously it's hard to do it when you're playing. So I'm, I'm not sure, really. I'm, I'm not sure. I, w I wish they did put it in, but they haven't seemed to like thought about it recently. All right, let's talk about something like. Uh, what do you think about Ultimate Team or pro clubs being an esport? Do you think that's maybe a way to make things a little bit more entertaining? I'm a big fan of Ultimate Team, to be honest with you. Um, it's a lot of variety. You don't get the boring matchups of of head to head, mm -hmm. and a lot of people love it. A lot of people love it on YouTube. That's that's the big thing on YouTube, and that's where the views are. And that's why I think it's a very good way for esports to go. Um, Do you think that's kind of the unique selling point of it? Because I've noticed that whereas things like I mean Call of Duty, for instance, a lot with the streaming on MLG TV, yeah. uh, but their social media, Twitter is also a big for them. Do you think like maybe YouTube is FIFA's kind of platform? Yeah. Because that's where it seems to all be based. Yeah, for sure. Wagers, things like that. A lot of them are very popular on YouTube, and that's, that's why Ultimate Team is quite liked. All right. So we've talked about Ultimate Team. Do you think FIFA needs a new game mode? Yeah, I, I, I do. I, I think it needs a, a mode similar to Pro Clubs, where you basically just, it's like 4v4 or just 3v3, but you can choose like normal teams or even Ultimate Teams. That'd be really fun, I think, and people would enjoy that. Ah, so I actually come up with an idea for my own sort of game mode. Yeah. Right, you ready for this? Yep. I'm going to drop some knowledge here. What about FIFA? But like that horse game you play. Do you remember Tony Hawks used to play horse against? And you had to do tricks and then match other tricks. What if you had to yeah. do that? Maybe like free kicks or something. Yeah. You had to score a free kick and then the next person had to score a free kick from the same position. No, 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 there's definitely room for game modes like that, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be quite fun, yeah. So see, sure. amazing things up as we go along. <laughs> Look at that. OK, so let's talk about the new FIFA then. Yep. FIFA 15's come out very recently. Mm. Um, how are you finding it compared to FIFA 14? Uh, it's, I, don't, I don't like it as much as FIFA 14. It's got a few problems, especially with things like goalkeepers. That's actually one of the problems I want to bring up. Goalkeepers. Mm. Now, I'm not your hard kind of FIFA player, no. I dabble a little bit in the office. Yeah. I got whooped last week uh, on one of the G shows. Yeah. Um, what is wrong with keepers? 
I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's really obvious. Even the person who don't play often can see the problem that they're just they're not very good. That's the issue. And I think they brought out. A they whole seem to stop me. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, but I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they brought out a whole next gen thing. I think that's the issue. I think it might take a few years to sort itself out a little bit. But it's disappointing, really. Okay. The other thing I've been told about is tackling. Apparently, it's got harder. I've been told. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's easier for them to run past you now. But it's is that a good thing for you, or? Well, it's. It's good and it's not because it's frustrating when you can't. You're playing well and then someone just runs past you without doing doing much good. But yeah, it's it's it's, it's quite frustrating to be honest. Yeah. All right. One more thing I have to ask you about. When I think about top level FIFA players yeah. and the skills in FIFA, like mm. the actual player skills, yeah. do you practice them? Is that a, is that a big part of competitive FIFA? Knowing how to pull those off reliably and consistently? Yeah. Uh, you need to know them because a lot of the time that's how you'll get your goal. But once you know, w once you've learned them on an old FIFA, like FIFA 10, they don't change. So there's maybe one new one each year or two new ones. I really need to go and learn those. Yeah. <laughs> so once, once you know them, they're ingrained in your head and you just keep doing them. Awesome. So what kind of advice would you give to any budding FIFA players out there? And more importantly, me, as we'll probably be doing a GFNE Cup at some point, And I feel like I need some practice. Yeah. No, the, the best platform for practice, I think, is cups just like GFNE. Um, it's, it's just great because there's so many good people, but there's so many average people as well, and people are learning, people are getting better. I'm playing people who I played a few weeks ago who have definitely improved, and that's, that's the way to go. If you want to be better, you've got to play the best. Do you do any kind of set pieces or anything? Do you go into a game and go, right, I need to practice my through balls, or I need to practice shooting, for, I do play against like a weak computer player? Or Is there any of that, like regimented sort of, I need to practice this yeah. specific thing? Well, you can learn things at corners that help you score more goals and free kicks that you can take quickly and make them go in, yeah. yeah. There is a few things you should learn, but mainly corners. If you can get a good set piece going, it will help you a lot. Awesome. How do you kind of warm up for a big tournament then? When you go to a big tournament, do you have like, right, I need to play X amount of games per day, or I need to play these people, or I need to work? What do you do to kind of hone yourself into that, that diamond yeah. edge? Yeah, that's it. Um, I try to avoid playing, playing like bad people, if that makes sense. I want to continually practice against the good, the good people to make sure I'm constantly alert about defending and attacking. Otherwise, if I'm playing a bad person, I'll, I'll just not be not very like secure in my game because I'll, I'll not be not expecting them to attack me. And if I come to the tournament, everyone will attack me. So I need to be consist consistently playing good people. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you very much. We have a... Uh, going to go to the game centre now, uh, where we're going to put a little bit of your gaming prowess to test. We're not going to be playing on FIFA. Somebody's already beaten me on that in the competition, and yeah. I was not looking forward to that challenge. Um, so I'll see you over there. Okay. Hello and welcome to the Game Centre. Stokes has joined me here. We're going to be playing Killer Instinct. Now we've both warmed up pretty much. The games have been pretty close. Very. This will be a best of three. Um, I'm confident I'm going to win, if I'm honest. <laughs> so am I, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, we're going to see. I'm going to be the guy in like red and yellow. You're going to be the guy blue. in like blue. Yeah, blue. You're blue. Let's get this game under the way. We're both the same character, so yeah. it's fair. Apart from I'm better. But. <laughs> oh. I swear to God, that throw is the most annoying thing ever. Yeah, it's like the cheap way to win, I think. Okay. Look at that. I need some sort of. Yeah. Listen, not to, oh, here no, we go. This is some sort of whooping. Put, yeah. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, okay. That's super glowy mode, as it's known. I think, it's, I think it's called shadow mode, but you seem to be glowing instead of dark, so that doesn't make much sense. No, not much. However, it does mean you can get some ridiculous combos off. No. And if I do that... Okay. Got the small advantage going into the second round. Yeah. Uh, and now I have Super Saiyan mode. Uh-oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay. I even took away from your red health. Funny. Ah, it is you. No, <laughs> I lost Super Glow mode, now I have left help. Come on. This is not going this well for me. Quite, this is a good comeback here. Oh no. Oh, that hurt. Oh, is that you? Oh, oh. no, you comboed it! Uh oh. And he's got Super Glowy mode. <laughs> Come on. Use this Glow mode. <laughs> that was nice, I've got to admit. Oh, ah, that's what right. we needed. First one to you. Close. I'll let you have that one. It's uh, lulling you into false insecurity. Yep. Right, let's just rematch and go again. Right. Right, so I took it easy on you the first time. Uh, 
Oh no. I get four hits and you just do that stupid throw yeah. thing on me. <laughs> Quite powerful, isn't it? I'm in the learning. Oh, okay. So a big advantage going in the second half. Yeah. Right. Uh, is that you? I don't know. I think both are. I don't know. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Quite a big advantage here. Should win. <laughs> this is tense. Yeah, it is. We're both doing a stupid throwy move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, taking turns. Like that. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. That's it, I've lost. Well, congratulations. You beat me 2 0. Um, I want to shake your hand there. That thank was you. well deserved. No, thank you. We're going to go and show Stokes doing a hot lap, see if you can get to the top of the leaderboard. Yep. Uh, and then after that, we'll see you back in the studio. Right, I've had my best lap one ever, so this better be good. Oh, this is difficult. Go on. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's no. That's where I always mess up this point. Okay, that's quite good. Whew, come on. So, okay. I wonder if you follow this green thing to give you more speed or... Oh no, I need to keep control. There we go, that's quite good. Oh, that's my time, 43 seconds. Uh. That was nice, that was nice. I want to come first, but I doubt it. Uh. Where's the finish? Should be around there somewhere. There's the finish, okay. Can't mess up from here. Straight, go on. 12, 13, 14. Oh, this is gonna be quite close. No! Okay, let's go. I'll take it. Well, there you go. We've had the game centre. We've had the hot lap. You managed to beat me in the game centre. I'm not yeah. going to claim I'm pleased with this. <laughs> uh, I won the first two, and then I've lost three on the trot. Yeah. Something's going to have to change. People, remember at home to leave a comment under like, what game should we play here on the G Show? Who would you like to see as well? And what questions do you want me to ask? Um, you've also gone and done a hot lap for us. Yeah. So I have your time right in front of me. Your time is 119.181. That actually puts you third, or you know, third from last. Yeah. You're actually dead centre in the middle of the pack. That's so I think that's I think that's respectable. Yeah, not that far that. away. It's only half a second away from Benny Central, who was one eighteen four three two. Yeah. So not that's bad. okay. I not think bad. that's done pretty well. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. If you want to kind of tell the people where they can kind of keep an eye out for you and what's the best yeah, place to sure. find your stuff, um, f follow me on Twitter uh, at underscore Tom Stokes, or just find me on Gfinity playing the tournaments. Well, there you go, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in this week to the G Show. We'll see you next time.